another question here today about who's going to be the Superman for James Gunn. Check it out. Hey, John and crew. This is Riley from Richmond, Texas. I was wondering, now that we know James Gunn is directing the new Superman movie, do you think they'll cast an actor that he's already worked with? And who do you think it would be? Thanks. All right. Thanks a lot for calling that in, man. Of course, one of the big questions going around right now is, of course, James Gunn announced yesterday officially he is going to direct the new Superman, the first movie in the brand new DC which doesn't come until 2025, but that'll be our first movie in the brand new DC. James Gunn is both writing, directing, and is the studio head. I I can't remember the last time. Has that ever happened? No, that the movie's so. being written, directed by the studio head. Uh, whatever. It's going to be an interesting thing to turn up. Now, a lot of people have already been asking about who could play Superman. I love the way this question, though, about if it could be somebody that James Gunn has already worked with. That's a very, very interesting question because there are a few people who I really like the notion playing Superman, but they have never worked with James Gunn. So uh, Will Poulter, but actually has worked with James Gunn, is in Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. 3 now that I think about it. Will Poulter is a very interesting name. A name other people said that I was cold on, but I've warmed up to is maybe Austin Butler, who's, of course, just nominated for Best Actor at the Academy Awards. Uh Dylan, Brian, Dylan, no, what's the guy's name? Uh, Dylan O'Brien. Dylan O'Brien. Brian Dylan, no, Dylan O'Brien from the Maze Runner Bob series. <laughs> and what's it called? Love and Monsters? Was yeah. that the movie he was just in as well? I mean, that's one that a lot of people seem to like. I, I'm warming up to that one as well. So, but what about if you're confining it just to people that, that James Gunn has worked with? Well, I mean, I found an interesting list. Like th this list is from our friends of Screen Rant, but it's not about the Superman thing together. But let's look at some of the people that James Gunn really likes to work with. Michael Rooker. Oh, wait, loves working with Michael, right? Loves working with Michael. And you know what? In a strange way, I could see a Perry White in Michael Rooker, but I definitely not our Superman because they said they're going for a slightly younger Superman. All right, well, his brother, Sean Gunn, I don't think he'd cast his own brother as Superman. I, I think yeah, that would, I, just number one, first of all, I like Sean Gunn very much, but he's clearly not a good pick to play Superman. And that would be very problematic for James if he cast his own brother in that role. I don't think we're going to see Sylvester Stallone. He's young enough. Uh, yeah. He could play he, like mid, mid 30s. Hey, he still has a <laughs> Superman physique. I mean, there's no doubt about that. And uh, I think his dance card is freed up because he ain't doing any more Creed movies. Ooh. Where's uh, where's the king? What we need is a video clip of that cat from the from the uh, Puss in Boots ones that go ooh. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, so phone. yeah, I don't think it's Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> Palm Clementif, who I love, but you know, obviously not our Superman. Uh, Terrence Rosemore, again, not our Superman. I love Steve Aggie. Mm. I love this guy. Now, so awesome and peacemaker. Not our Superman. Now, was Screen Rant making a just a trolling joke when they made this list? Or? No, this list is specifically actors who have worked with oh, James Gunn oh. in both Marvel and DC gotcha, films. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So that's that's pretty interesting there. Flula Borg, who I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, I always found very, very annoying. <laughs> But I'm warming up to the guy. He's so funny. Come on. I am warming up to the guy. Actually, he recently did a guest. Actually, he was with our own Aaron Cummings. He and Aaron Cummings co-starred together in Nathan Fillion's The Rookie uh, show in an episode of The Rookie. And I, I got to tell you, I am starting. And I did like him in Suicide Squad. As small as the role was, I, I was warming up. to. So I'm warming up. But again, not our Superman. Uh, Nathan Fillion, <laughs> who is a James Gunn, you know, reliable Huge ally. If they're going for a younger James Gunn, you know, Nathan's now in his 50s. So probably not our younger Superman. If you asked me that 20 years ago, 15 years ago even. Uh, maybe. Uh, Michaela's not obviously going to be our Superman. Now there is Elizabeth. Uh, Stephen Blackheart, again, I don't I don't see that happening. Danielle is not going to be, although I do love her as Ratcatcher. Oh, God, I loved her as Ratcatcher so much. Um, and then, oh, I always mispronounce his name. Uh, Chikwudi, anyway, who was great in Peacemaker and is now going to be the high evolutionary. So I don't really know that there's now one name that isn't on this that I could think of somebody who's worked with James Gunn that I could totally see playing maybe a Superman character. I mean, obviously, other than um, 
I just I just mentioned him. Uh, who's who's uh, Will Poulter? Mm-hmm. Other than Will Poulter, is this guy? Bring up my screen there, Freddie Stroma, who of course in Peacemaker, uh, plays the vigilante. I really like this kid, and I could. Theore- I mean, not more than some of the other names we've mentioned, but in the names of people who have worked with James Gunn and worked with James Gunn well, Freddie Stroma is, uh, is I think, would be, I love him as Vigilante. I think he's got, he's a great actor. I think his comedic t- chops are great. And he's already got a good base physique that you could add 15, 20 pounds of muscle and he would look like, a, I think he'd look yeah. like a great Superman. However, the problem with Freddie and all the people on that other list we already looked at is that they're already in D.C. Freddy is Vigilante. If we had never seen Vigilante's face, then maybe. That remains a possibility. But we are we, we know all these people from D.C. Sylvester Stallone was a shark. So, you, so Stallone could do it, but obviously, you know, they're going to go with a Superman in his late 20s, early 30s. So that's off the table. So I love, and outside of that, I just don't know because it's been a while, Rob, since James Gunn made a movie that was not Marvel or DC. So any actors that he used to work with back in the Super or the Slither or whatever, in in the trauma days, are probably aged out for playing a younger Superman at this point. So other than Will Poulter, who is a world-class actor, other than Will Poulter, I can't think of anybody who's actually already worked with James Gunn that would, could step in and be a good Superman. Again, then you're left with your Austin Butlers, your Dylan O'Briens. Uh, I had a few other people that I liked as well. I don't know. When you look at James Gunn's, the 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 stable of terrific actors that he's worked with over the years, anybody pop to mind for you? I mean, you know, the obvious Chris Pratt. I mean, that's the one but, I left out there. I just don't know that the public would accept it, but he loves Chris Pratt. He's also yeah. older now, too, isn't he? He's I, yeah. yeah, that's the thing. He's in his 40s now. There, I think he's going to find somebody new, and I think he probably already knows who that is. I 100% believe you. I, I think Superman has been cast. You know, I watched um, Brian Singer cast Brandon Routh. I was there for his screen test for the studio, and it, Brandon was Brian's really only choice to play Superman and had to sell Brandon because he was so new to the business to the studio. And, and wasn't he working in a bowling alley at the yeah, time? The yeah. bowling alley at, at um, Hollywood and Highland. He was working at that yeah. bowling alley. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. yeah and then suddenly he he's, his by wife. the way, I thought he was a great Superman. He was great. And, yeah. and you could see it. Like I, I was, I shot behind the scenes video of him doing a screen test with Carrie Russell. Wow. As Lois Lane. Who was also very good as Lois Lane? She could have played the part. She would too. have been a better Lois Lane. She's be uh, she's great. Uh, she's she's astonishingly beautiful in person. Just as, as an aside, so sweet. Um, but yeah, it, it, they already know. Yeah, it's not. I'm, and I think it's probably somebody new. I would imagine somebody new, somebody maybe that that is their star is on the rise. I don't know who that is, but I, I'm going to disagree with you on that one. See, I I like you. I agree. I believe they've already got their Superman. But John, the deadline report said they're now in the... I don't I don't care what the deadline report said. Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, they were all saying that stuff when they were in the process of finding their new Batman. And then we found out that Ben Affleck had been Batman for like seven months. I, I completely agree with you that I think they already have their Superman. But I don't think it's going to be somebody brand new. And, and there's... Well, two- no, I, Brent, I mean, there's stars on the rise. It's somebody who's in the industry probably that's... that that Because there's a lot of exciting young people. There are. I, I think David Zaslav is going to want a name that instantly a- attaches some credibility to the movie. Yeah. And here's the funny thing. as If you look at James Gunn's, even his history, the, he usually puts in pretty recognizable people. Right, whether it's a John Cena, whether even back in the day when he did Slither, putting a, a Nathan Fillion in there. Oh, I, I think he's got a, an Chris amazing Pratt. eye for casting. Yeah, he's got a terrific he's eye He's really casting. got a great eye for casting. And whoever he's going to put in is, I think, going to knock it out of the park. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about that? Who do you think is going to be our new Superman? But more specifically, 
when you look at the the stable of talent that James Gunn has worked with over the years, maybe we're missing somebody. Like, can you see somebody that he has worked with that could be brought in? Because James is a director who really likes working with actors he knows. Can you think of somebody? Like, maybe it is a Chris Pratt. Maybe it is a Will Poulter. I don't know. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional cost of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia